dear friend that um, sometimes I'll wake up and have the most awesomest um, positive affirmation waiting for me when I wake up. And it's always something that I'm probably going through in my life. And um, I woke up to one the other day and said, um, maybe the journey isn't so much about becoming any, anything. Maybe it's about unbecoming everything that isn't really you. So you can be who you were meant to be in the first place. And a lot of us, me, myself especially, I was misguided as a kid, man. I was misguided by um, my father, who I love dearly today, was a big part of my life and my transformation. But I was misguided by my father, I was misguided by society, and I was, I was misguided by um, my so-called friends, man. You know, growing up, I was, um, I was taught to, to um, dislike colored men. I was not allowed to watch um, Cosby Show. The Cosby Show, I just need to watch the Cosby Show. I was not allowed to, um, you know, to watch 227. I don't know if you guys remember that. 327. 327. And further on, to, to, to add to that, um, you know, as I started going to juvenile hall, I was, I was um, misguided by my so-called friends not to like black men. I was misguided in prison. I was not allowed to be with black men. And um, I was misguided, man, because today I could look, I could look at my brother Lamai, Michael Jenkins, and um, these are my brothers, man. And I love these men dirty today, man. Amen. I was also misguided seeing. I was, I was also misguided seeing my mother beat a lot by my father. I was misguided by seeing my uncles beat their girlfriends. And um, naturally, that's what I that's what I began to do growing up. I remember the school year. Um, I used to hate girls. And there was not one relationship I had since I was a teenager that I did not verbally or physically abuse my woman. And I was I was abused too. So. <laughs> But today, you know, as, um, the more I work on myself, the more I work on my transformation, I see that that's not who I am today. That's right. I'm not an abuser. I was also misguided to thinking that um, if I back down from a fight, I'm weak. Mm. If I be called out a name that I have to take off and I have to fight. And that's not the case today. That's not who I am. Ask yourself, how many years did you waste in prison because you were misguided? And also for the women, a lot of women are misguided thinking that, that they need to depend on a man, that they need to be put up with, um, be, be disrespected, and be, um, be physically abused. And that's not the case. You know, my best friend, and she's a very smart, sophisticated woman. She has a master's degree, and she don't put up crap from nobody, man. That's for sure, man. And she's a very independent woman, man. So as you, as you begin your, your process of transformation, do not be misguided in your transformation and embrace your change. With that, I want to end with a quote from um, Lao Tzu, a Chinese philosopher. This was written 600 BC. It says, the simplest pattern is the clearest, content with an ordinary life. You can show all people back to their own true nature. Thank you.